Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I want to tell you to simply check your turbo piping. It all has to be checked by hand very carefully. Uh, you just can't skim over this. If you're having problems with your car running properly, boosting properly, you may or may not get a code. If you don't get a code, it's either fuel pressure related or it is probably a loose uh, pressure tube somewhere or a loose vacuum line. Here's the vacuum tube on the early P80 cars. As you can see, a lot of vacuum lines and it has a couple of vacuum caps. You can hook a boost gauge up to one or some other vacuum system. Basically, when your car is idling, it is sucking in air. That is a vacuum. When your car is in boost, it's pressurizing this intake manifold. And that's in boost. So you're normally either in vacuum or you're in boost. When I'm cruising down the highway 70 miles an hour, uh, just on a flat road, not picking up any speed, I'm normally in vacuum. If I'm climbing a hill, that normally shifts to boost. If I have a hole as big as one of these tubes open where air is escaping, that can cause me uh, three or four PSI of boost pressure. So it is important that all of these lines and tubes are all connected properly and they don't have holes in them, stuff like that. They go to things like your cruise control, your boost gauge, your vacuum pumps, your emissions, and things. They all got to be connected and in good shape. Yesterday, I was driving along, and the car started running a little funny. It didn't want to uh, run smooth. The idle was wandering a little bit up and down. I immediately suspected that I had a boost leak. Then I punched it. When this car is normally slamming and, and uh, accelerating aggressively, it basically accelerated like a car that was towing something. It, it was struggling. So I figured I had a boost pressure leak, so I decided to check it first thing in the morning because I didn't want to check it at night. Since this vehicle is turbo, it is critical that all the turbo piping is sealed properly that means post turbo there's the turbo down there the first line you got coming off the turbo is that awkward size hose there it comes up through this metal tube it goes back into a rubber hose that goes down into another tube into another rubber hose into the bottom of the intercooler all the way up to here, the output of the intercooler, the purpose of the intercooler is to cool the air down that comes off the turbo. And hopefully by the time it comes out here, it lowers the temperature dramatically. Cold air burns and functions your combustion engine a lot better than hot air does. Comes through this plastic tube into the throttle body intake tube. Part of that tube breaks off to this idle air control valve. They both dump into the throttle body. One of them in front of the throttle body. This tube behind the throttle body into your intake manifold. When you are in boost, climbing a hill, accelerating, this stuff is pressurized. Therefore, if any of it is loose, pop loose, has a tear or a hole in it, you're not going to have your proper boost pressure and your car is either going to go slow or it's going to fall on its face and it may even give you a boost control error message and it may even stall and cut totally off because when one of these tubes are not connected properly or torn this car will suffocate the engine one of the common issues with this turbo system on this particular Volvo because it has so many rubber hoses. It's got a rubber hose here 
It's got a rubber hose here. It's got a rubber hose down at the inlet of the intercooler. Sometimes when people slam on the gas, the car starts to hesitate, almost slows down a little bit, and then it starts picking up speed and taking off. What is happening when that does that, normally nine times out of ten, this hose is actually collapsing. When you hit the gas and open up this throttle body, the engine begins to suck the air in. When it goes to suck the air in before the turbo pressurizes these tubes, it will suck this tube down almost flat, causing the car to be starved of air. Until that turbo winds up to pressurize those tubes, that air tube is sucked almost totally closed and the car has a hesitation and almost will stall. Part of your responsibility to maintain your car and make sure it's running properly is to tune it up. When you have a turbo car, one of the things that you need to tune up or confirm that's in good shape is these tubes. Fill on these tubes. If they're hard, and that's better. If they're soft and spongy and wet with oil, they need to be replaced. A common one to tear is here. I've seen several of these tear. Another one is down here on the bottom of this throttle body intake tube. I've seen a lot of them tear at that joint. So you need to make sure that these tubes are in good shape. I even seen the one back there on top of the turbo torn several times. Again, if you're having uneven idles, uh, the car will not boost properly. Come and check these tubes. Check the one under there that goes into the throttle, especially close. And make sure all of these tubes are intact. Make sure that the clamps have rubber on both sides of them so that they're holding good. And if you don't see anything, you may want to actually remove these tubes. Check them with your hand and put them back on. Anything short of that, you can have these issues for a very long time. And again, if you have a vacuum situation where you have a cap missing off your vacuum tree, or your vacuum tree is broken, or one of these lines or torn open or not connected, that can cause you boost pressure as well. Lack of boost pressure, lack of performance, a lack of fun. Check out your turbo vacuum and pressure tubes. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.